What's up, people? Welcome back on uh, on this video. I have to say, I went to see March first. I went to see the movie um, Sword Art Ordinance Kill. Oh my God, dude, guys! It was just amazing. It was like super, super amazing. I was like, wow! I was amazed. I'm not gonna say anything, but I just gotta say this: is that the guy. Instead of seeing um, Link start, it's a new thing. It's called Ardena Scale Activate. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It was yeah. Oh, and um, stay after the credits, cause uh, this guy have um, like an extra clip for the third season. So yeah, they're making a third season. Like as soon as they um. Then they announced it, so I'm happy with that. And um, well, I didn't met the Japanese people, the mm -hmm. Japanese um, voice actors, but the, the Japanese director was there. Um, art director. Uh, who else? Uh, ah, oh, shoot. Um, some. Oh, and the plugs director and some other guy from Japan and um yeah they were just talking they had like a Q&A session it was just amazing I really liked it and um they were selling merchandise before the show so I had I took a picture of the list but I'm not gonna you know how the hell gotta show it through here but yeah Ooh, gotta hate these but uh, yeah, the, it was amazing. Uh, I did find some costumes, so um, I took pictures with them, and I was costuming as Kyoto from Order No Scale, and um, yeah, I was like, I was exactly the only guy that wasn't. There was other cosplayers. There was a Sinon cosplayer from origin from the GGO version. Um, a female, um, I mean a female, uh, uh I don't know if she has to well, GGO female version of Kirito, you know, um, yeah, I was just amazed, I'm uh, really amazed, they were sending figures as well, two figures, one with Asuna, then the other form, the heck, oh, the other form was, uh, well, her first figure was one with her original, well, not the original, she's, Wearing the the new ordinary scale version, then the second one is um I don't know it's like a black not dress but like 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 clothing pretty much it was like a black one and people were getting the black one and my friend told me about it and I was like which one you gotta get well he told me that he which one you gotta get and I told him oh I'm getting the Asuna one with the original figure I mean from the original video from the anime the order in the skill version and like I don't know why people were getting the black one so in in the movie she didn't have the black form one but yeah oh, uh, but yeah like um that's what <laughs> there was not even CDs of Lisa her Oh, um, what you call it? The one that I like. It's a uh, racing. No, wait. Catching the moment. That's the new album of hers. They were selling hers. Then they were selling the soundtrack of the Sao. And that soundtrack comes out same day as Sao. The movie comes out. That's on March 9th. So they were selling it um earlier over there. So yeah, but. I did have enough money to buy that, but I was like, nah. Like I pref I want to buy the. Oh shit! The levels are going higher. Wow. But um, yeah, I did have enough money to buy the soundtrack, but I was like, nah. I prefer buying the the figure than than the soundtrack. So. It was a. It was pretty cool. 
and um oh yeah they if you buy like a figure or soundtrack or um they had like um i forgot what they're called they're not posters but wall scroll there we go a wall scroll of the the new sao pretty much if you buy anything from you know figure the, the war scroll or anything that they had in that merchandise they um you would have gotten a new uh free poster of the movie and then i was like oh like i bought it i bought my figure then gave me a free poster so i was happy with that and then I'm, oh shit i hate these depressed mantis yeah great i got poison and um yeah then i uh, they give me a i have a ticket but they give me a ticket over there and um they only like ripped it a tiny bit not in half but just a tiny bit and um it was seen on and then the right was kind so seen on a uh, cosplay was giving out a uh, like a gift or well, not gift or pretty much the, she was uh, giving it away to everyone who came to see that from the who came to see that movie oh shit my mp is kind of low on oh, double okay. yes. but anyways uh yeah there, there was like huge packages of those things those little gift boxes so pretty much they gave me one they gave me to my friend then Sinan well because of course I was I went up to her to give me the free um gift thing <laughs> she's like oh here Kirito and I was like uh ah. <laughs> like I thought Thank thanks Sinan then we just laughed and um then after we just walked away we went inside and we just sit down there and there's just you know telling us that there's no recording well of course while we were like during the movie so that looks so wrong but eh follows the same thing but anyways um yeah it was we just sit there the people were like you know the announcer well it was a girl but I'm not gonna you know say oh it's a guy what you know, I'm not a fem- um, I don't know what they call it, a feminist, I think that's what they're called, I don't know what the fuck it's called. But anyways, um, yeah, she was, uh, saying that they they had, like, a projector screen. And she was explaining, welcome to the, you know, for the, for the growing event, for the SAO movie, and everything. And, um, yeah, this is what people get pissed off with this. Well, before that, um, they announced that, yes, they are making the dub version of the movie of SAO. And, um, people are, ha well, I'm happy because I'm more into dub. But anyways, um, oh, damn, this hard, high portion of key. Give me, I don't know which one. Yes. But anyways, uh, they said, oh, um, they're making an SAO movie, but we're not gonna, you know, release it to the public. Or anything and so pretty much they said that we had you guys have to wait well everyone has to wait for the blu-ray to come out and um so pretty much they gotta have the dub and the Japanese version I mean both languages pretty much on blu-ray but they did not said when it's gonna come out so we have to wait until that and um this is what people got pissed off with this not the movie but like about the dub but um they made another announcement so the announcement was is that um it was kind of funny because the lady she's like wait it's like um like well this is with everyone so pretty much what they said this is they're making uh limited edition oh yeah you could say limited edition limited edition of sao the first complete season in one box so yes every i was like the the lady was like wait we already we already have this but she was just like you know doing for the for just for fun of it it's like oh we already have this 
I'm like, oh, wait, 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 this is different. This is the, like, the complete, complete box. Well, pretty much one complete box with everything. Pretty much from season one all the way to the second arc of All Fine Online. So, pretty much Fairy of Dance. What the hell? They, wow, they missed a lot of shit in here. God damn it. Oh, well. Yui Chan. So, pretty much when they announced it like everyone was pissed off I'm lucky so I was not pissed off but everyone was pissed off cause uh first of all most people bought the box set well not the complete box set but the box set like for example well not just not an example but you know like um okay SAO season 1 part 1 then SAO season 1 part 2 well pretty much volume 2 and um yeah so people were pissed off I'm glad I didn't bought it so I'm gonna get that very soon um but I'm pretty sure as soon as they announced it I'm pretty sure they did not say how much it will cost but my opinion will be like 150 if not if I'm wrong probably be like 200 so 50 50 chance I might get it so I had to save up money just to get that limited edition box set. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to get that. But yeah, people were pissed off. Most of my friends were pissed off because they didn't buy the whole set. So I'm lucky I did not buy the set. And um, yeah, people were just super pissed off. And then they were, um, after that announcement, the announcement, they. They said like, oh, we gotta have a Q&A after, right after the movie, so stay tuned with that. And I'm dying. Shit. So, pretty much, um, we, uh, they said that, and this, she said that, um, stay after the credits as well, because they're gonna be, have a mini clip of a, of season three, so of course we stayed. Oh, screw this switch! No, Just got that. Bitch. Oh, you know that actually is pretty good. Fuck! I hate this fucking shield. There you go. Ooh, 52 seconds. Just in time. <sighs> so, pretty much, um, they said that. Then, after the, when they we're about to enjoy the movie, she, she's like, oh, we gotta have, we gotta play this game. So, pretty much. Whoever wins this game, they would have gotten a poster, a free poster of, um, well, five different, well, five same posters, but autograph of Kirito and Asun's voice, well, voice actors and actress, of course, from Japan, from Japanese version. Uh, then the director, art director, and the Plex guy, um, they were. They signed it too, so pretty much whoever win the little game, they would have gone that. So, the game was is that, um, we had to like play the, not this game that I'm playing right now, but uh, this, they made this little app game, well not app, but uh, like through the internet, they had like a mini game in there. So pretty much, uh, it was like a ball of Asuna and a ball of Kirito. So pretty much it's Kirito versus Asuna. And the only thing you have to do is like swipe around the the ball and whoever makes the goal and tells you like the highest um like the highest percentage of people who who won. So pretty much we played we played it three times. I did not make it for the top score but other people did and people actually got because they put their names as well so um, pretty much one by one they were calling their names to get the posters and everything so I wasn't pissed off because like I said I'm not into Japanese voice uh, 
actors or the director as well I prefer Morgan to dub and um that's not all so the other part is that um uh the Eng there were five English voice actors in there and I already knew one of uh, I already knew they were there because obviously who wouldn't miss this Ooh, I still can miss it. yes give me exp potion come on uh, why not I'm gonna have that so pretty much um who is there was Price Paperbrook who did who is the voice of Kirito and um Shermy Length uh she plays Asuna's voice and then Christine V Capanos I think that's her name. She is the voice of Silica and then Igio uh forgot his name, his real name, but he was there too. And um and Yuna as well, the English voice actress of Yuna was there. <laughs> so they were there, I don't think they just said their names and there were people of course people were clapping for that. And yeah, they were all pumped up for for the movie and they were um did the uh, red carpet premiere? Yui yeah. chan yeah. Oh come on <laughs> So yeah, pretty much that's what they I wanna Kita of course. <laughs> it's like Kito is daddy Asuna Auna is mommy. But anyways, um yeah the movie was like I said it was amazing. And um I really liked it. And for you guys, um you guys have to wait what? Two more days, I believe. <laughs> yeah, two more days. Because today is Tuesday. Oh, why well, is Tuesday? I gotta upload this video tomorrow. That's Wednesday, pretty much. So you guys have one more day left. Um. Papa. Mama. <laughs> so, pretty much, it was, like I said, it was amazing. Shake goes downhill on that movie. I'm not gonna say anything about it <laughs> but yeah <laughs> and of course I was like I said I was cosplaying as Kirito from the original scale movie it was it was just an amazing movie and no because most people have been reading on Facebook on um, because I, I follow um, Unplex, um Funimation Anime Expo, of course. Same time, and those companies that they sell Blu rays. And I even um, added Sword Art in there, but that was like woo, way back. But, anyways, um, people, are, most people who are not, well, people who are going to watch until March 9th, people are commenting, oh, like, hopefully it's not the same exactly as Extra Edition of Sword Art. And the, I would say yes, but no. Like what? A, like if you haven't seen that movie, pretty much the whole fucking video or well, movie, it was just hell from there. It was so stupid. So pretty much, uh, those from one hour all the way to fifteen minutes. The fifteen minute movie actually starts from there. So pretty much the whole entire concept of that movie was, well, I'm talking about the extra edition. Um. Pretty much was the point of that movie is that all the girls who met Kirito, it's ex they're explaining how they well pretty much they every girl like Silica, Leafa, well not Leafa because Leafa is the cousin, uh, Asuna, Liz. Pretty much those girls were telling their story how they met Kirito and everything. Well, Leafa, there she explained later on who she was so. Yeah, then pretty much the whole story was just with them, and oh my god, I was like seriously, like pretty much the whole video was just recap, and then after those fifteen minutes, the actual video, actual movie started. Yes, I still remember it. It was like fifteen minutes. I'm like, that's.
brutal. It was so damn retarded. And yes, I've been commenting them back saying now it's not exactly the same thing as extradition. So pretty much everything from the movie or you seen the trailer pretty much it follows exactly the same um thing as on the movie. It was yeah, but it's not exactly like extra edition. So that's a good thing. I'm I'm happy with that. And then like the QA they answer my question actually in there. Uh I'll have the question on me right now, but um hopefully I'll get the little answer thing later on I guess. Yes. Oh snap, I didn't see that coming. Fuck I missed that. Ah, oh, I missed that too. So pretty much that was the Oh how nice. Oh god, I hate these bastards. I missed, yeah I missed. Fucking good feeling. Oh, by the way, my friend, uh, BK, what is it, the Reaper 201, and my my be my friend that I know in real life, um, he already passed the whole game, so I'm like way way behind. And um, yeah, he says that when you defeat Heathcliff for the second time, he says that he's like really really hard to kill him. So, going for that moment to do, <laughs> cause that thing is gonna be pain in the butt. Sorry, uh, I was trying to think what time it was. I should have just used the other thing. I right, some time. <laughs> so, pretty much, the movie was great. I recommend it. I might rewatch it again on March 9th. But it's 50 50 chance. I'm not sure. But, yes, that movie is just amazing. Like I said, like so many times in this video. So, yeah. Pretty good movie. And I did admit, uh, one famous cosplayer now is not Yaya Han, or no, it's not, uh, what's her name? Um, should have forgot her name. Just second degree, there we go. No, they were not them. So, whoever, I uh, think was. Something about Lee can pronounce her name wrong, can pronounce her name right, but she's like I say, she's like you know, Japanese or Korean, or whatever she is. I'm not gonna say that because that would be like retarded and racist at the same time. So, pretty much, just gonna say this girl, uh, yeah, she play she cosplay as Yuna. And um, she was there. Uh, sadly, I did not take a picture with her because I didn't see her. The only one that, I, like I said, I saw it was some other cosplayers. And one of the cosplayers actually, well, I don't know him in real life. Like, well, I know him like, like I don't know them like in like a friend, friend, pretty much. I uh, hardly know them. So uh, his name is Andrew, and I met him at Akiba Fest of last year, and um. He was cosplaying as the original Kirito from SAO of, um, of this game right here. And his girlfriend, I'm guessing that's his girlfriend or her fiance, one of those two. But I'm pretty sure it's his okay. girlfriend. Um, she was cosplaying as Asuna from the original game on the one that I have been playing right now. And then he had a group of friends. Uh, one of them was, I don't know her name, but she was cosplaying as Elizabeth. Then one of them was playing, was playing, uh, cosplaying as, um, Klein, the other one was cosplaying as Heathcliff, so they're famous because uh, this guy was um, taking a photo of them, and pretty much like I said, I did my own um, cosplay of Kirito from the from or Ordinal scale the movie, and um, 
pretty much uh, I was going through Google because I wanted uh, I wanted uh, more references how to make the cosplay exactly the same thing as from Ordinance Girl. So pretty much I saw these two couple, and I didn't notice them until I clicked their picture and so on and so on. So I clicked their picture, wanted to know how he made his cosplay or something like that. So I clicked his thing. I think it was he was uh, he was from this cosplay divine divine art cosplay or something like that. So I clicked his profile. I went all his pictures well half of his pictures because he had more pictures so I clicked his few of them and next thing you know uh, I see the background of a white pebbles in a tree and I joined and I was like wait I, I was like wait I've seen this before but I don't know from where next thing I was like wait this is a keep of fist because I know mostly everything at Little Tokyo so I was like, okay, um, so I was like, no way, so I looked through my, f I went to my phone, to my galleries, oh, what is this? Oh, shit, oh, right, my life isn't good enough. one of them no oh, let's see but anyways um yeah I was like holy crap and I noticed it uh I saw his the picture of it the his girlfriend and him I'm like holy crap they're the same um, cosplayers are like, wow! I was like, literally in shock. And so, pretty much, this is my second time I met them. The first time, like I said, Akiba Fest, and now on Hollywood. So, what surprised me is that I did not recognize them when I went to the Egyptian theater in Hollywood until the next morning. So, I was going through my phone because I was going to my Instagram. I was posting, um, my photos in there and hashtagging that I want to see the SAO premiere. So next thing you know, uh, when I did that, I clicked if I, if I was the only one, but I, when I clicked it, is when I noticed that there was other people. And then I noticed the cosplayer. Then when I saw, I was clicking the cosplayer's name. And then <laughs> when I saw the guy who was cosplaying as Kirito from the ordinance, I clicked them. And next thing you know, it says, um, Andrew, I'm like, no fucking way, like, is, is this Andrew, no way, and then I was like, what the hell, so, next thing you know, I went, had to go to my phone again, on the gallery, and it was the same cosplayer, but, it's the difference is that I did not recognize him, because he was wearing his, 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 um, hold on, I'll tell her when she wakes up. Uh, uh, let me tell her right now. Okay. Yeah. No, it's really like that. Thanks, so. Alright, sorry about that. So pretty much I was like oh my god so I had to go through my phone see the picture of the girl who is his girlfriend and I was the same, same cosplayer as I met them before so pretty much I met them before and I was like holy crap so hopefully next time when I hopefully I meet them on anime expo if I meet them you know I would say hi to them and everything and um yeah like I said like because he's famous, uh, Andrew, because when I went to his profile picture. Oh, oh, there you go. Okay. Well, I'll continue 
the video after I collect these. I'll continue the next video. How much did I got? Ooh, sweet. Almost there. Oh, what the heck? Alright, so I'll see you guys on the next video. Laters.